All right, here we have the the Murfreesboro. Here we here we have the Middle Tennessee uh, Boulevard Road crossing in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The reason why I'm showing you this today, even though I probably would skip over it normally in the crossing tours, because even though it has some slightly interesting equipment, it's mainly because of that broken gate right up there. You can see the fire glass portion right up there is broken, probably because someone slammed into the gate, probably with the train that came through earlier, trying to beat the train. But anyways, the first signal here is the Martin Industries cantilever. Alright, there's the emergency information. As you see, the dot number is 349331F. The mast lights here are West Cone Hayes 12 by 24 inch lights with West Cone Hayes second generation LEDs in them. Here's a look at the back. The rear lights, interestingly enough, are incandescent Martin Industries uh, 12 by 24 inch lights. Here's a look at the back of that light. The overhead lights here are all federal signal 12 by 20 inch incandescent lights. So this install is probably originally similar to Drake Avenue in Huntsville. There's close up there you can kind of see it says federal signal. There's a look at the other set. The gate mast has a partially buried modern industries base, then a safe train gate mechanism, and then uh, safe train type 2 or an AG electronic veil, not sure which, probably safe train type 2. Right there, as you can see, the gate lights are from Rico. There's another look at the broken portion of the gate. And let's see here. I'm gonna get back some. There we go. And when I get the chance to, I'm gonna cross the street, go over to that signal, show you some show you stuff on it. But anyways, here's this on the CSX Chattanooga sub. This is on the CSX Chattanooga sub. And repeat one more time to make sure I heard it. It's on CSX Chattanooga sub. That way it's looking south towards Chattanooga through Stevenson, Alabama. And I can cross. And here's the other signal. I'm gonna show just an overview of the cross and from right over here. There we go. Oh, and also the intersection with 231 has red light cameras, just so you know. Anyways, here's the other signal. It's very similar to the first. The, the cantilever is a Martin Industries cantilever. The Right here we have a, the remains of a paper dot tag. Right there's the all down in metal dot tag. And right over here, the front lights on this signal again, front mass lights are more, more West Cone Hay 12 by 24 inch lights, West Cone Hay second generation LEDs in them, which are actually rather dirty as you can see right up there. Then the overhead lights are another three pairs of Western Colin Hayes 12, uh, Federal Signal 12 by 20 inch lights. And then on the gate mast, we have an older Martin Industries base, the other CSX emergency information sign, safe train gate mechanism, the rear lights are more incandescent Martin Industries 12 by 24 inch lights. In fact, the front mast lights here are the on both signals and only one LEDs, as far as I'm aware. Another, so, see, look, you can see there's Matt, Martin Industries. Another General Signals, a General Signals electronic bell over here. This one is actually installed later than the safe train. I think this might be a General Signals Type 2 based on when it was installed. Both these bells replace Rush Colonnais mechanical bells. And then you have uh, more Rico gate lights, which are probably LED. All the uh, gate lights here, most likely LED. There's track view looking north towards Nashville and CSX Chattanooga subdivision. And right there, that's the relay case that says Middle Tennessee Boulevard. So yeah, this is the Middle Tennessee Boulevard railroad crossing in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And that is one more shot of the damaged signal over and out.